hello hello welcome in i hope that this reading and video finds you well i hope that my camera doesn't fall and please spirit god angels allow me to um deliver this message with clarity with grace let me deliver it as it is supposed to be <laughs> okay um aquarius you could have aquarius in your chart this reading might just be for aquarius um i'm just gonna go with the flow and hopefully you guys like the flow we have house 11 and we have house three so i'm not sure yet if i'm gonna put collective or if i'm just gonna make this video for aquarius so as i mentioned you might have aquarius placements okay strongly you could just be working with this energy though and i feel like that is important because sometimes i don't like sometimes I, I never want people to miss a reading based on the title because i know i don't give the best titles and also you may have signs in your chart that you're just not aware of that you know that's the energy that you're working with so depending how into you are with your astrology and your own chart i don't want people to miss a reading because the title only says aquarius but so i'm not sure what the title is going to be yet but you could just be working with this energy if you're not aware that you have this placement in your chart someone around you could be an aquarius we have originality philanthropy and progressive imaginings so whether or not you have aquarius in your chart um this is the energy that you're needing to be in they need to be aware of so there could be some new innovative thinking some new ideas that may lead you to success and we are doubling down with the aquarius energy because we do have house 11 so i feel like your contacts your networks your friend group your acquaintances could be prevalent at this time okay you're needing to be aware of who you may meet so make sure you're looking nice when you go out be aware of what you say to people um this is highlighting like your friends your social circle and that's what i'm getting so but i'm not really getting like i'm getting kind of like a neutral energy for some of you this may be good news coming through we'll get more into the tarot if this message is going to sync up with the tarot um but this could be good news coming through for some of you getting good news from other people new business ideas or creative thinking and conversations with other people or maybe like foxes in your energy or snakes in your energy people that you're needing to watch out for so that's why i said be careful for what you say what you're saying to be to people be aware of what you're saying and we have house three more communication and talking we have these birds here there are a bunch of birds here so you could definitely have air in your chart or this is a very you may be in your head a lot but I'm also getting other people. It's like you're you're dealing with more people these days. Maybe this is new clientele, um, more social events. Maybe you're going out more. You're getting invited to stuff. This could be the energy that's going to be going on maybe for the next month for you is what I'm getting. This is kind of like a prolonged energy read is what I'm getting. Um, but something's coming up in regards to other people. You talking to other people you having more conversations again could be good i feel like there are some good things but also you're needing to be aware of your surroundings and who's in your energy and who's going to be at certain events and who you're talking to okay because like it's like everyone's talking to everybody so that's going to make sense for you if this reading is for you gemini energy who are health house three also i was just getting like i was just channeling so this house 11 card says friends like-minded groups and humanitarian beliefs so could definitely be connecting with like-minded people so that is like the good thing that i'm seeing um some of the good news and then with the house three card we have early learning childhood relations the rational mind and communication Whenever the house three energy comes up, I always say that you could now be integrating your inner child into the more mature you, into the adult version of yourself. Um, you could really be self-reflecting and, and analyzing how 
your past self um, has really shaped who you are and how maybe past events and your childhood and your adolescence has affected your who you are in your adult life and has shaped who you are, your evolution kind of. Loki, please. Sorry, that's my cat. I'm yelling at. Excuse me, not sorry. Excuse me. Okay, let's see. Let's get into the tarot and see what you need to know right now. Clarity, insight, and guidance for you. Go to shuffle once more. Okay. See what, what's the crown? Oh wow, the ten of pentacles crowning your reading, and I just saw five five five. So there's a huge change happening for you right now. Huge change in regards to your family dynamic, in regards to your relationships. Relationships are coming out heavy for you. It could be one in particular, but also it, like your love life could be changing, and like I mentioned, your family life, but also relationships with other people, business relationships new contacts 555 five, five is your number the number five could be significant for you when you see that number know that changes are afoot ten of pentacles new people new business arrangements new business ideas ten of pentacles is an energy though most people i've come to realize you know when you pull this card Everything is energy, right? All all the cards that we read are simply energy that can make us presume what's happening. So the presumption with the Ten of Pentacles is having everything. Being financially stable and sound and put. So whatever you're wanting to manifest, it is coming with the Three of Wands. I'm seeing it. It's on the way. You can feel it. And this is great. This is great to be able to feel your manifestations working or just to be able to feel in general and to be aware of your emotions and to know, have intuition in regards to what's happening in your life, what's, got, what's coming through for you, being confident within yourself. That's some advice here to be confident with what you know because you know i'm kind of getting deja vu here you know that you're meant for abundance and you're right so all you have to do now is wait patiently with a good attitude and that's why this aquarius energy is coming out is because you are changing the way that you think and when you change your mind, you are able to change your life. And you know in your head that you're meant for greatness. You can you can feel it. You're very intuitive. You need to really tap into that and to keep fine tuning your intuition and keep getting to know yourself because you are going to change your life and you're going to realize how powerful you are. One second. You are destined for greatness. Abundance is your birthright. And you finally cracked the code here. I'm not sure how you cracked it. I'm not sure if this energy goes in and out with you. You've manifested certain things. You've been in good energies, but you go down. You have really high highs and really low lows. I'm not sure, but all I know is the Ten of Pentacles is crowning your reading. So I know you're in a manifestation energy. I know you're in high frequency or you're able to get there. But most likely, for the most part, you are there. Um, but with the Ten of Wands reverse, I do feel, yeah, and the Queen of Swords reverse is you do go back and forth. 
your highs are high and your lows are lows. I'm not sure how often this is. It's, this is current energy. This is current energy. Um, so it may have been, it, this may have been going on for some time, but like I said, I feel like you have finally cracked the code and you're dropping your any, anything that's burdening you, whether you're doing it or whether this is advice, whatever is burdening you, you're releasing it. Whatever is causing resistance, you're releasing it. You're learning that you don't have to work so hard to get what you want. You can simply wait patiently with faith, with knowing that it's already yours with a good attitude and it is going to come through for you period it will that's the belief that's the knowing the ten of pentacles i don't know if i finished that thought is a presumption that you have everything that you want in the material world at least the hangman changing your perspective this is a huge transition that you're going through with the queen of pentacles of mastering the material world and it's easier to master the material world before mastering the spiritual world i feel like people may not understand that and people may dive in the material world before they establish the material world whatever order you do it in it's it's easier it's actually easier to establish yourself in the material world i personally didn't do that and i feel like if you're into tarot you're obviously somewhat spiritual so you may have loki don't get up here mind your business you may have been someone who um i'm not gonna say mastered but you are someone who dove more into your spirituality and learned more about your spiritual self before really getting your finances together and having financial literacy. But that's all balancing out now. That's all coming into like a synchronicity. That's all coming into harmony now okay and be certain that if you do have spiritual knowledge you can for sure easily manifest and get stabilized it just may be a little harder actually but you're doing it that's what i'm seeing you're you're doing right now you are self-reflecting and going through the void going through a huge transitional transcendental time in your life some of you guys may have taken a trip recently whether it be actual travel or what i was talking about was like psychedelics okay that has changed your shift if you've never done that before you can now would be a good time don't take a lot just microdose. okay just take like the least amount especially if you're not really ever done it before if you have just microdose and it will be it's going to help you heal it's going to help you get into the energy that you need to be okay i'm not trying to create drug lords or dr loki what the fuck are you doing get out of my pantry i'm sorry um, I'm not trying to tr create addicts or anything, so please relax. But you will be able to establish yourself in the material world. And the Queen of Pentacles is also someone who takes care of themselves in a top tier way. This is top tier self care. Really tap into that top tier self care. And this is an everyday thing making sure and it, it's like it's like clockwork making sure you it it's like it start it's it's, it's a non-stop cycle it starts and, and it stops when you go to sleep to when you wake up the only really resting time you have is in the astral and even then you may be up and at them okay your your psychic abilities may be really strong at present okay i did mention that your your intuition but with this hangman here you could definitely be having 
strong dreams at this time but it's helping you ground down them in the material i feel like you could be having premonitions insights psychic downloads dreams could be strong right now to help you get money gain success and to help you take care of yourself and to help you again it's like all connected fine-tune your intuition but the queen of pentacles takes care of her body okay so getting into an exercise routine she takes care of her soul spiritual hygiene meditating journaling grounding down with the earth and she takes care of her you know mental mental health her emotional health as well okay very grounded energy very peaceful energy very heartfelt into an energy like no one can tell you nothing because you know who you are that's the energy and you know where you're going you have a vision okay and you're gonna get it period okay i love the queen of pentacles she's grounded earth energy you could have earth in your chart strong pisces energy coming out here what is this the nine of swords you're not waiting patiently so this reading is really going to help you with the waiting game with getting out of your head and into your body you don't need to stress you're fulfilling a prophecy again abundance is your birthright you're meant to have a perfect health you're meant to have perfect wealth you're you're meant to have your perfect love and you're meant to have and embody your perfect self-expression you don't need to stress about these things all you need to do is be and take it one day at a time um read the book i don't personally have a physical copy i would love to get one one day soon but i listen to um the the game in life at, and how to play it by Florence Scovel Shin. That book will really help you shift your energy. One of my favorite books. Okay, it really helped me in a time of need. And it, it's a book that it's timeless. You can always listen to this book. Um, the Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. You can search and get a, a paperback, but if not, go on YouTube and they have it on there. Or whatever other platform you use but I like to listen to it on YouTube the publisher that published it on YouTube is Nevolution so that channel is the channel that I watch Nevolution because I like that voiceover on Nevolution's page okay the game of life and how to play it by Florence Scovel Shin look that up on YouTube and just play it when you're in the car when you're getting ready when you go to sleep listen to it and listen to it over and over again okay ten of wands reversed to the two of pentacles so yeah um establishing your daily routine i like that again letting go of resistance knowing that you can live a soft life you don't have to work hard to yield success okay that's not saying you don't have to put in the right effort and take the right action but all you have to do is have faith okay and um gaining confidence here again in what you know gaining confidence in what you know releasing codependency forgiveness is what i heard forgiveness forgiving yourself some of you guys may be a bit older and you feel maybe like you haven't necessarily accomplished what you wanted in the timeline that you wanted you need to give yourself grace forgive yourself and even if you're not older you could just feel like that you're on your own timeline the past present and future is all happening simultaneously all you have is this moment and in this moment you're needing to gain confidence and gain strength and know that you are able to start new you're able to proceed you may feel like things are moving a bit slow or you don't have the answers that you need or you haven't gotten the justice you may feel a lack of confidence because there's some sort of injustice maybe with a past lover maybe with someone that you're still connected to in regards to love if you're connected to somebody i feel like i 
mentioned the dynamic of your family and your relationships could be changing. So you may be having some sort of fallout or breakup with someone. I feel like it doesn't have to be, some of you guys are actually maybe getting a divorce. It doesn't have to be a nasty breakup. I feel like it's gonna be amicable. Amicable, that's the word. Um, you know, it's like y'all are adults. This is a mutual agreement. It is mutually mutually beneficial for both of us. You guys may there may be some finances here. Like you may be someone who already has maybe a good amount of money, but it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not necessarily about the money. It's about purpose and what you're wanting in your life purpose. I'm gonna pull a love oracle card for you. So we have a deal romance. You, Some of you guys, well you guys, this reading that, that it's for. Um, you guys are searching for this ideal romance is what I'm seeing with a number four. Searching for stability. You are gonna find that. So, but you can't find a new love if you're needing to end something, right? So some of you guys are really searching for this ideal romance. All right, let's get an affirmation. Stick by your boundaries and what you want and know that karma is always going to collect. You don't have to necessarily get your revenge on anyone and please don't let anything or anyone keep you caught up because they crossed you okay or because you were wronged keep moving forward and things will balance out i'm getting like an image of i don't know how to explain it of everything coming together like whatever bridges were burned for you it's going to get rebuilt like in a better way in a more solid way if i seek harmony over balance you may be seeing a white bird. We have, it may not be possible to apply equal effort to everyone and everything daily. We're gonna get a couple of more oracle cards. Leo energy here, we also have Libra. Okay, focus on your daily routine. Focus on the 24 hours you have in front of you. Sorry, this is taking a minute. Gotta get the perfect card, of course. We have good fortune. Your good fortune is coming for you. And I feel like it's taken a while, just like that took a while. Some of you guys may have even clicked off the video or not even made it through this whole read. And you'll never know that the good fortune is coming for you. Those of you who haven't made it this far, they're gonna have to wait. But those of you who have made it to this end of the read, it's coming for you. And still, you're gonna have to be patient. It's not about when it's coming. It's about you having a good attitude and knowing your worth. And when you know that, you're just, you know you're rich already. You know you're rich already. You know only good things can happen to you. Good fortune is in your energy. It's coming towards you. You are meant for abundance. You are meant for amazing, miraculous things to happen to you. Look at the card. Maybe that shuffle didn't seem too long to you guys, but it was a bit long okay this card didn't just flip out i had to get the energy right and pick this card for you guys you guys are fortunate good fortune is coming towards you money is coming towards you we have mom your mother may be significant here um something in regards to your mom some of you guys may have a karmic okay so the person that you guys maybe like uh, having an issue with could be your mother you guys could be in some type of karmic cycle with one another you could have been born into a karmic family 
you could be feeling spite in regards to your mom you feel like your mom may have wronged you um potential possibilities are limitless you need to know that your potential and the possibilities are limitless we have yes so in regards to your mother you just have to forgive forgive your mother and move on with your life and that's just as simple as it has to be no matter what they did i am seeing there's an imbalance here and you're obviously connected to your mom but you need to release like codependency from the unjustness you need to release anger from the situation because that's causing resistance in your life and resistance is not the frequency of abundance okay so you have to get into that flow state you have to forgive and you have to move on babe okay things will get better when you get better okay so just take the energy back to you hold your boundaries and your life is changing right before you okay you are quantum leaping at this time okay you're changing your life because you're changing your self-concept you're changing the way that you think i love you guys be sure to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment for me and i'll see you in the next read